Hey everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Mateo and I am from Machine Masters. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce mud and add hype to your instrumental with two very simple EQ moves. You ever have one of those tracks that you get from a producer or you find a beat online or something and you're trying to work with it but you notice that there's just a little too much mud in the low or low mids? That's kind of hard to fix if you don't have the individual stems. Now, there are a few things you can do to help this, and today I'm going to show you one of those things. First, I'm going to pull up an EQ that I really love to use for this specific purpose, and it's an EQ developed by Native Instruments and Soft Tubes called Passive EQ. Now, the reason why I really love this EQ for this particular purpose is because it allows you to work in either left and right, so stereo, or in mid and side. On top of that, this particular plugin is extremely subtle sounding, so you can do some pretty crazy EQing with this and still make it sound very musical. So for this particular purpose, I'm going to keep it in mid side. Now, let me take my instrumental and make my selection for this. And the first thing we're going to do is listen to the beat. Cool. So I'm liking how the beat sounds, but I feel like there is a little bit too much going on, maybe in the 500 to 700 hertz area. So what we're going to do is go to the low mid section on the left over here. So this right here is what we're going to focus on. First thing we're going to do is turn this boost to a cut by hitting the blue button. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this up to 560. Now I usually like to start around there. If I don't like what the EQ is doing at that range, I'll probably move it up to about 820 in and around that area. So let's start at 560. I'm going to hit play and we're going to slowly cut the frequencies there. All right, I kind of like it there. After making that cut, I could hear the snare pop a little bit more, and I felt like the kick was a little tighter. Just the overall low end just felt tighter. Now, the hype part of this. Maybe the instrumental could benefit from a bit of a boost in the high frequencies. Now, you don't want to be too aggressive with this, just a little bit. So the other reason why I keep this on mid-side is because when I kind of want to go for that effect, I won't actually EQ both the mid and the side. I'll boost the high frequencies only on the side. And this makes that boost a little more musical and a little more transparent, but also it helps to increase stereo image, which is a nice effect. So we're going to go to the right over here to the high section, and we're going to click this purple button first because this is going to unlink the side from the mid. The next thing we're going to do is bring this up to 16. I really only want to affect the really high frequencies. So I'm going to stay there and I'm going to slowly boost the frequencies.
Great. I really like that. I was quite aggressive with the EQ, but it's at a good place there. And it is less subtle than if I were to do that to the mid as well. So keeping it on the sides adds a really nice effect. It really brings out the high frequencies, but not in an obtrusive kind of way. So let's play this beat back again, and I'm going to bypass and bring in the plugin and hear what we did. Tight low end that isn't muddy and a little bit of that hype in the high end. Great. Now, for those of you in the Machine Masters community, many of you should probably already have this plugin as this plugin comes with the Premium 2 bundle. It also comes in the Native Instruments Complete Ultimate bundle. If you haven't been using this EQ, you really should. It's a very powerful EQ and sounds great. Thanks again to all of you that checked out this tutorial. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about what we covered in this tutorial, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, also leave that in the comment section below. As always, please like and share this video and subscribe to Machine Masters to keep up with all our latest tutorials. Thank you everyone. Have a great day.